Hello, I'm Raquel Garcia in South Florida. I chose Valley Forge National Park in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, named after the village nearby that was famous for its metalworks forge. Uh, it is considered the birthplace of the American Army because the Continental Army, Army uh, encamped 12,000 men and 400 children and women during the winter of 1777 to 1778. Uh, it was under George Washington's command. The soldiers were trained by von Steuben and organized by George Washington. They chose the location because of the proximity to Philadelphia, which the British had taken Philadelphia. And so they uh, could get there within one day's march. There were no battles actually fought at Valley Forge, but 2000 men did die of diseases like dysentery, influenza, and typhoid. Uh, not from the cold, like some would suspect, but uh, they actually died, two thirds of them, during the warmer months. And so the encampment there destroyed the landscape and the farms. Uh, the Continental Army actually got busy and started building over 1,500 log huts out of timber and fences from the surrounding area. They said there was not a tree that was untouched. Um, they organized themselves in construction squads. There were, they built 14 by 16 foot long cabins in parallel lines, making it uh, call, or the fourth largest city at the time. Uh, and so it was called the Little City. They also uh, built entrenchments for defense and forts out of earth and a bridge over the Schuylkill uh, River. They reduced the livestock and surplus food from the, their foraging of the farmers nearby. So when the army left, the farmers got um, busy actually removing all the construction from the encampments. They replanted crops and trees. And at that time, they were probably just trying to preserve what they'd had before. And it wasn't really until 1893 that they realized the value to um, this area in revolutionary history. And so they made it the first state park in Pennsylvania, and they then started to reconstruct it for visitors' experiences, like they have the nine huts now. They also have a redoubt and a fortification that they reconstructed. And so the park has made a lot of improvements. Um, one of them is to Washington's headquarters, and it's also known as Isaac Potts House, and to the Valley Forge train station at the cost of $6.2 million. They, um, there's, you know, the letter from George Washington to Henry Lawrence of the Continental Congress includes the plea for provisions and men to be sent to Valley Forge on December 23rd writing that the options were to starve, dissolve, or disperse in order to obtain, obtain substance in the best manner they can. Rest assured, sir, this is not an exaggerated picture and that I have an abundant reason to support what I say. Well, some and the, the website for the National Park Service also says that Washington may have exaggerated they uh, don't say so in so many words, but that's pretty much the idea, saying that the men were physically spent, but emotionally resolved after the defeat in Germantown, and they got busy to work and building, forging, cooking, and even creating makeshift, makeshift clothing and gear. And that the men actually had a half a pound of beef. It wasn't until February that the, um, situation was more grave and so some may say that Valley Forge is not an important revolutionary war site but because there is no actual bloodshed uh, on that soil for the War of Independence but the army did come together there and establish the resolve and solidarity during the six months they spent at Valley Forge. They were forged by the fires of hardship shaped to become the winners of the Revolutionary War. It is definitely a place that has a lot of um, to offer in the way of educational experiences. 
They have a visitor center full of information as well as tours where you can walk, bike through trails. They have field trips where rangers are dressed in period clothing. And they, you can also even volunteer with archeological and ecological endeavors. And so this park is open every day, except for the Washington headquarters in Valley Forge um, train station. And the next time I drive by, I hope to actually stop and visit and not just keep driving through. Thank you and have a wonderful day.